Hmm. Such a nice place. This desert and all. This little bit of life here next to this water. The cactus. Dead bushes. Oh! A treasure chest. Let's go over there. Oh gosh! No! No! What is this? Is this quicksand? Oh gosh, I better get out of here. I- I, I can't get out. Okay. <laughs> that was a close one. That could have been, but... <sighs> so close. So let's see how it works. So, first, over here we have our one tick clock. And what that does is it constantly spawns a redstone block right there and then removes it. So it, line, it powers this whole line of redstone right here, powering all of these command blocks. Now what this first and second line over there do, as well as that last one, is they are the ones that display the sunken sand using the falling sand entity slightly below uh, regular levels, so that way it has that little uh, sunken look. And then on this side, we have my effects. Right here, this detects if we are standing on a soul sand block, which if you didn't know, uh, the, and under the floating sand, there are actually soul sand. So what'll happen is, right here, if I stand on soul sand, I get all the effects. So I get slowness, wither, and mining fatigue. So then, if I stand on sand, it's reverted. Now at the moment, this is single player only. So, then this one right here, this is basically the same thing as this, and what this is doing over here is just setting a redstone block here, so that way it will give me the effects. And then what this one does is it sets a redstone block here to clear my effects, so if we can see right there, same thing happens. Pretty simple. And I think that is about it for this one right here. Alright, and this has been Armacode. Thanks for watching.